I'm uh, Jody Mark. I'm from the Verwij Jonker Instituut. The Verwij Jonker Institute is an international organization for social scientific research. It's uh, in the center of the Netherlands, in Utrecht. And uh, I defend the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. So I defend the children's rights. You've worked on many child-related issues over the years. What would you say is the status of children's well-being in the Netherlands? Um, in which areas is improvement needed? Well, um, that's an interesting question. Um, um, we at the Verwij Jonker Institute and me as a researcher, um, every two years we monitor the living conditions of children in the Netherlands. Um, we uh, collect data about the living conditions uh, related to the uh, children's rights. And um, we put it in a, a data book and it's called Kinderen in Tel. Um, it's also in the USA there, it's called Kids Count. And um, um, there are a lot of organizations in the Netherlands uh, using that data book. Um, to improve the dialogue about uh, children's rights. And what we saw uh, ne last year in 2014 is that um, the number of children in the Netherlands living in poverty has increased a lot because of the economic recession and uh, the un unemployability. And um, what we saw is that uh, uh, one uh, on uh, every nine children is living in poverty. So one on every nine children in the Netherlands is uh, living in a situation of social welfare. And um, we think that it's that's very much and we see that it's growing the last uh, five years. And so we think that um, action is needed uh, for children in poverty. Do you think that there is something in the laws of the Netherlands that should change these uh, children's rights? Or is it the execution of laws which where improvement is needed? So what does what has to change to to improve their situation? Yeah, I think it's the ex execution of the laws. Um, for example, um, what we saw in, in, in with Kinder in Tel in the Netherlands is that the living condition of children, they differ a lot in the different communities in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, we have almost 400 uh, communities. And um, it depends on where you live, how your situation is. And we think that um, uh, the, 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 the local governments, but also the national governments, um, they have to feel responsible for the, the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child because they signed it. So we think that... Um, they have to um, um, eliminate those differences in the communities because they are very big in the Netherlands. And so I think, yeah, they have to work on the execution of the laws of the, the, the rights of the child. And can you, can you name something specific you would advise, for instance, the government of the municipality of Amsterdam? Well, um, when you look at the different communities, you see big differences. And uh, in Amsterdam, there's also um, a growing uh, children in, um, in poverty. Um, yeah, I think um, that action is needed. But they did already a lot in the last years. So um, Amsterdam is a good example uh, of a community who invests a lot of children in uh, poverty. They, uh, for example, have a child package. Um, that um, consists of um, the most basic needs for children, for example, uh, a voucher to go to the library, um, shoes, um, and um, there are now about 80 communities in the Netherlands who now have um, such a child package. In which way does your academic work for the Verwij Jonker Institute translate into better rights or better situations for children in the Netherlands? Um, well, we do a lot of research on um, not only on children in poverty, but also, uh, for example, ch child abuse and neglect. Um, for uh, we do a lot of uh, research on uh, children at risk, and um, by research we try to influence to improve the situation of children. Um, we want to give proof by by fact facts by research that uh, sometimes action is needed. And um, for example, uh, I told about Kinder in Tel, and every two years we got a lot of media attention. And what you see, we did also a research on the influence of Kinder in Tel. And what we, uh, one of the conclusions of that research was that 
uh, uh, 37% of all communities uh, um, is using the data of Kinderintel for their uh, youth policy. So here you see that research can really make uh, a difference. Can you tell something about your recent publication titled Die Letter op de Kleintjes, Who is Watching the Small Ones? Um, and what is it about and what do you hope to achieve with that publication? Um, well, it's about a, a project from uh, Humanitas in the Netherlands. And um, um, it's a project for uh, children whose parents are in prison, who one or two parents are uh, in, in prison. Uh, and it's also for uh, meant for their uh, temporarily um, caregivers. Um, what you see in the Netherlands is that there is no prof professional support for those children and for those uh, temporarily caregivers. And um, uh, we think it's very important that those children that they have that, that, that they get support. So um, we let it up the kleintjes. It's um, they 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 fill a gap. They do a lot uh, with the children and with the caregivers. They uh, give mental support, but also pra practical support. And in our new, our research, we saw that this is really necessary. We saw that um, uh, that um, children um, start speaking about the situation of uh, of their parents because sometimes children have never spoken about it because it's a big taboo in the Netherlands. Um, they um, they get help in um, sometimes they need professional help and then a, a voluntary worker can help the child in um, going to a professional uh, worker. So then it's a kind of a bridge um, function the voluntary worker has. And um, I think, um, yeah, we did uh, some recommendations because um, it's not very well known in the Netherlands, the project, and we think um, more public publicity is needed. And also, Humanitas should think about um, how to reach the target groups. So, yeah, we hope that um, um, with those recommendations, more children and more uh, caregivers will be helped uh, by the project. Some would say, uh, some people would argue that um, the Netherlands is a relatively safe and, 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 and good country to live in compared to other countries and they don't see the point in working on human rights issues in the Netherlands. What would you what would you say to these people? Well, I think um, comparable with other uh, countries, of course, um, yeah, most most children and youngsters in the Netherlands, they have a very good life, they are very happy and healthy. But there is there there are children who are living in poverty, poverty. There is a lot of uh, child abuse and neglect. So I think you can't ignore that um, the Netherlands the, um, subscribed the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, and I think um, you should every every child has the right uh, of of a, of on a good um, and healthy life. Okay, uh, thank you. One question we we always ask to every person we interview is, what the cause you work for means. Um, to you as a human rights defender on the personal level. So what made you decide to do what you do and when did you decide this? Well, um, my parents raised me in a way that made me conscious about um, the world, that we are responsible for the world. So if you want to change something in the world, you should start by doing it um, yourself. And um, I went to study social sciences and my specialization was the, the educational theory because for me um, I think um, it starts with the children if, if you want to change things in the world if you want to um, uh, if you feel responsible for the future it starts with the children so yeah that's why I'm very interested and I want to protect the children's uh, rights in my work what are the positive developments you see for the living conditions or the human rights for children? Because that is actually, that's your cause. Is it, is it getting better? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, what I already told you, I think um, the fact that every community, that a lot of communities now have a child package, that's a very uh, big development in the Netherlands. Um, I think, yeah, that's a very well, um, uh, well, yeah, very good development. 
um, but also um, uh, on other uh, topics you see that there is a lot of uh, investment also about the topic of child abuse and, and um, yeah, the communities do a lot uh, to reduce the child abuse and the, and the poverty in the Netherlands but um, it can be better I mean it can always it can be better. Thank you.